The secret society known as the Order of the White Lotus in Avatar The Last Airbender is devoted to seeking philosophy, beauty, and truth, and spreading this knowledge regardless of the physical and political boundaries of the Four Nations. They've taken on many different goals over the years, with protecting and training the Avatar being one of its primary tasks. But who exactly is part of this secret group? I'm Greg Elliott with Screen Rant, and let's take a look at every known member of The Last Airbender's White Lotus. Only once every hundred years can a firebender experience this kind of power. Uncle Iroh is the White Lotus's Grand Master and Grand Lotus, and led the group as they liberated Ba Sing Se in Season 3. Up until this point, the White Lotus had gone to great lengths to maintain their secrecy, but they ultimately sacrificed their low profile to help fight in the war. The show teased Iroh's involvement through his love of Pai Show a few times before the group's reveal, and he always insisted that it was more than just a game. So wait, how do you all know each other? All old people know each other, don't you know that? <laughs> Bumi, the King of Omashu and Earthbending Master, is another high-ranking member of the White Lotus. He was one of Aang's close friends before he disappeared, so it makes sense that he was the first to notice that Aang was missing when the White Lotus revealed themselves. And despite his old age, Bumi is a formidable Earthbender and an asset to the White Lotus, using his skills to destroy plenty of Fire Nation weapons. I see you favor the White Lotus Gambit. Not many still cling to the ancient ways. Fung may not be an extremely high-ranking member of the White Lotus as he appears only once in the show, but it's an important appearance as he not only confirms the existence of the group to the audience, he helps Iroh and Zuko escape from the bounty hunters trying to capture them and helps them get into Ba Sing Se. And then we've got Zhang Zhang, also known as the Deserter, a firebender who once taught Zhao but later turned against the Fire Nation and reluctantly became Aang's first firebending master in season one, Paku, a Northern Water Tribe waterbending master, who initially refused to teach Katara because she's a girl, but changed his mind after seeing her raw talent and realizing that he once nearly married her grandmother, and Pian Dao, a highly skilled swordsmith who, while being a non-bender and a member of the Fire Nation, chose to take on Sokka as his sword-fighting student. The way of the sword doesn't belong to any one nation. Knowledge of the arts belongs to us all. Our next two members don't technically appear in Avatar The Last Airbender, but they're a part of the order nonetheless. Jin Pa, a monk from the Southern Air Temple, is mentioned in the Rise of Kyoshi and Shadow of Kyoshi novels, and Shai Bao is mentioned in the follow-up series The Legend of Korra. You never see him, but he does have a grove named after him in the spirit world, and he was upset that the White Lotus publicly revealed themselves at the end of the Hundred Year War. Believing that they had lost sight of their true purpose, he left the Order and created his own splinter group called the Red Lotus. The White Lotus has honored my family by coming. Thank you. And not every member of the White Lotus is fully identified. In the legend of Korra, the current leader of the Order is in several episodes but is never named. We know he's a waterbender and dedicated to protecting Korra, but that's pretty much it. There are also sentries and other lower ranking members that are clearly a part of the order, but don't have any particular fancy rank to make them stand out from the big guns. Although they only appear in full near the end of Avatar The Last Airbender, and then just briefly in the later show, comics, and books, the Order of the White Lotus is an important part of the Avatar universe, and by including members from all the nations, they embody the idea of doing the right thing regardless of where you come from. Our guess is that we haven't seen the last of them, so make sure to keep up with us at Screen Rant to stay in the know on all things Avatar. I'm Greg Elliott, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.